Good morning, friends. Let's try that again. Good morning. Welcome in the name of Jesus, the Savior of the world. My name is Pastor Sean, and it is one of my favorite Sundays of the year because this is a celebration of the youth that are a part of this community we call Hope. So you're going to hear from them. They've got a skit prepared for us this morning. They're going to be our singers um, and help us sing our songs. And at the end, there may even be a little bit of motion involved. And if you want to get out of your seats and, and, and join in the fun, we want you to know you're welcome to do that as well. In addition to that, I want to welcome the Hartman family and their family and friends who are here today for the baptism of their three children. Wyatt is a recent graduate of Hope Preschool, and so we've already gotten a chance to get to know him very, very well, and we know the wonderful things that, that God has in store for him, and we're excited to watch as his baptismal journey begins this very day. Everything you need to worship can be found in the bulletin. We didn't print too many, so you might have to share, but we're also going to have all of the things we need to worship on the screens, and when the time comes for communion, know that no matter where you're at in your faith journey, you are welcome here, and you're welcome at uh, this table. There's about 30 chicken barbecues left over, I'm told, so if you didn't pre-order and you are hungry when the service ends, speak to um, someone in a yellow t-shirt. That's easy, right? Not you? All right, Mrs. Smith, she's right in the back. Talk to her. We begin in song. Please stand as you're able.
The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And also with you. Cody, tell him to be seated. Please be seated. Please be seated. Adam called to walk with God. Joseph called to dream. Esther called to free the faithful. Samuel called to serve. Ruth called to find David. Samuel called to prophesy. David called to slay giants. Mary called to bear God among us. In their youth, their inexperience, and their doubt, uncertain, unsure of the future before them, they heard and followed the call of God. Jesus called the little ones to show the way to the kingdom. Called a teenager to feed the hungry. Called John to the desert ahead of him. Called fishermen to a new occupation. Called Nathaniel to come and see a new way. Called a young man to rise from death. Called a 12-year-old girl to get up and live. Called a young woman despised, rejected, to be in his company. In, in their, their youth, their, their inexperience, experience, and their doubt, uncertain, uncertain unsure of the, the future before them, them. They heard and followed the call of Jesus. For Jesus saw and called them, called out of them. Their optimism and imagination. Their courage and adaptability. Their hope and their idealism. Their courage and their sensitivity. Their wisdom and their faith. Even now the Spirit calls the young. To stand up for their faith in the face of persecution. To take their talents and skills to places of danger. To raise their voices in songs of protest. To fan the fire of passionate ideals. To build communities of love and compassion. To teach the old to dream new dreams. To minister and serve for the sake of the gospel. For, for in them are planted, planted the seeds of new possibilities. possibilities. The gifts, the for, gifts for years, years to, come. to come. The insights that will shape the future. The promises that all things will be made new.
God, we are all your children, and today we especially give you thanks for the children and youth of this congregation. As they lead us in worship, may their words remind each of us that we are precious in your sight and loved. As we think about all of the places our feet take us, we give thanks for the ways you have filled our lives with enriching opportunities, moments of joy, and friends and family to share the journey with. We give you thanks for those who have proclaimed the good news to us and spoken words of love, hope, and healing. Help each of us to follow the example of the saints before us in sharing your good news through our words and deeds everywhere we go. Amen. A reading from the prophet Isaiah. How beautiful upon the mountains are the feet of the messenger who proclaims peace, who brings good news, who proclaims salvation, who says to Zion, your God rules. Listen, your lookouts lift their voices. They sing out together. Right before their eyes, they see the Lord returning to Zion. Break into song together, ruins of Jerusalem. The Lord has comforted his people and redeemed Jerusalem. Lord has buried his holy arm and viewed all the nations of all the ends of the earth have seen our God victory. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. A reading from St. Paul. Because if you confess with your mouth Jesus is Lord, and in your heart you have faith that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. Trusting with the heart leads to righteousness, and confessing with the Mouth leads to salvation. The scripture says, all who have faith in him won't be put to shame. There is no distinction between Jew and Greek because the same Lord is Lord of all, who gives richly to all who call on him. All who call on the Lord's name will be saved. So how can they call on someone they don't have faith in? And how can they have faith in someone they haven't heard of? And how can they hear without a perjure? And how can they purge unless they are sent? As it is written, how beautiful are the feet of those who announce the good news. This is the wor word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Thanks be to God. Good job. Gross. Ordinarily, at the beginning of church, I do a uh, children's sermon. But since it's Youth Sunday, I thought, would the adults in the congregation please come forward? <laughs> Just kidding. Stay where you are. I only briefly wanted to mention our theme this year. How many of you, uh, when you look down at your feet, go, these are beautiful feet. <laughs> Show of hands. Some of you have gotten pedicures recently, I see. I can promise you that no one looks down at my feet and thinks, those are beautiful feet. Not in appearance. But of course, when we talk about what makes our feet beautiful, we got to tell them because they weren't in on our meetings. We're not talking about their beauty in their appearance, but why are they beautiful? Because we bring good news to people. Because of all the places they take us? Yeah, that's what makes them beautiful. The reading that Cody is about to read in just one minute is called uh, The Parable of the Good Samaritan. And chances are many of you have heard this story before. We chose it for you Sunday because this was one of two of the Bible readings that we used as an emphasis in our senior high 7th through 12th grade retreat just earlier this year in March. Some of our 7th through 12th grade girls will remember it. Remember how you guys acted this out? What'd you do? At a concert, of course. Yeah, that's what comes to mind when we think of the Good Samaritan. They had a concert where someone got hurt and lots of people decided not to help that person, but one person decided to go out of their way and help. But I chose it today in addition to that because the way the story goes, someone is traveling down a road. And again, how do we travel? Good job. Who said that? Jake Romance. Ten points for Gryffindor. Yeah, we travel on our feet, and as he's going down the road, he um, gets accosted by robbers, he gets beaten up, and he gets left for dead. And a little while later, two people who should have helped him saw him there, and what did they do with their feet? They walked to the other side of the street. Their feet 
took him away from the person in need. But a little while later, a Samaritan, which Samaritans weren't viewed positively at all by um, people in Jesus' day. A little while later, a Samaritan sees the man in need, and where does his feet take him? To the man to help, right? And our prayer today and our emphasis and the reason we put a seven-foot shoe in the middle of the sanctuary is so that we can remember that our feet aren't meant to lead us away from people in need. Our feet aren't meant to take us down paths by ourselves where we only have to worry about ourselves. Our feet are beautiful because they take us to those places in this world where there's need for love and help and words of encouragement and friendship and support. And I know these kids already embody that in the way that they um, live with each other and hopefully the way they live with their families. You embody love in your family, don't you, Quinn? Yes, definitely. But our emphasis today is that all of us will leave this place more mindful of the places our feet are taking us and more intentional about making sure they take us to those places where good news needs to be spread. Can we say a prayer? All right, let's fold our hands. Good and gracious God, we give you thanks for our beautiful feet, for the places that you call us to, for all of the things that we get to be a part of. God, wherever we go, we pray that you will help us remember to share good news through the things we say and through the acts we do. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. All right, we're going to break on three, and then if the adults want to join Miss Dressel in the back for a period of spreading, oh, just kidding. All right, we'll break on three. Ready? One, two, three. Please stand for the reading of the gospel. chapter. Just then, just then the lawyer stood up to test Jesus. Teacher, he said, what must I do to inherit eternal life? He said to him, what is written in the law? What do you read here? He answered, you shall love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your strength and with all your mind and your neighbor as yourself. And he said to him, you have given the right answer. Do this and you will live. But wanting to justify himself, he asked Jesus, and who is my neighbor? Jesus replied, A man was going down from Jerusalem to Jericho and fell into the hands of robbers, who stripped him, beat him, and went away, leaving him half dead. Now by a chance a priest was going down that road, and when he saw him, he passed by on the other side. So likewise, a Levite, when he came to the place and saw him, passed passed by on the other side. But a Samaritan, while traveling, came near him, and when he saw him, he was moved with pity. He went to him and banished his wounds, having poured oil and wine on them. Then he put him on his own animal, brought him to an inn, and took care of him. The next day he took out two denarii, gave them to the innkeeper, and said, Take care of him, and when I come back, I will repay you with whatever you spend. Which of these three do you think was a neighbor to the man who fell into the hands of robbers? He said, The one who showed him mercy. Jesus said, Go and do likewise. This is the gospel of the Lord.
All right, another day living the dream at BSW, Bless Shoe Warehouse, the one-stop shop for everyone's favorite brands and latest styles. Maybe this store will have better shoes. Shh. Oops, sorry about that. Didn't mean to startle you. They changed my uniform. I added the whistle myself. It's scary, but effective. So what brings you guys into BSW today? You need a new pair of kicks? Looking for a terrific new pair of tennies? Tennies? You know, sneaks, joggers. Fine, shoes. You looking for a new pair of shoes? Obviously, how did you guess? Call it podi podiatry. podiatry intuition. Anyway, whether you came looking for a new pair of slides or flats, pumps, boots, or loafers, you're in the right place. So who's first? I better go first. I'm in a rush. And I'm not, in fact, I'm not sure if I even made time for this. I need a new pair of boots for work. I must get back as soon as I can. Well, have a seat. Let's get started. You have to help me out, sir. I is this going to take? Sir, I understand you're in a rush. I'm getting the sense that where you're going is very important. Thank you, it is. Well, because of that, I want to make sure you have just the right pair of shoes. sensible as it is dependable. A pair of shoes that feels comfortable so I can go out and bring comfort. A pair of shoes with soles thick enough to k take me through hard places. But Tempur-Pedic support to make that makes me feel like I'm walking on clouds. Isn't Tempur-Pedic more about mattresses than footwear? Exactly. Walking on clouds. Let's get those shoes. Here at Bless Shoe Warehouse, we have the motto we live by. How beautiful are the feet of those who bring good news. What about me? I want some blessed shoes. Then you've come to the right place. Have a seat. Let's see what we're working with. Okay, but I should warn you, I'm an athlete. I'm on my feet a lot, constantly running, sweating, and abusing my dogs. If you think these are bad, you should see my pastors. <laughs> I'm sorry, I tried to warn you. I know they're a little rough around the edges. Rough? Nonsense, they're beautiful. These feet have participated in countless games for so many different teams. These feet have helped you show up and do your part. These feet allowed you to model sportsmanship and integrity. These feet have helped you realize you can do all sorts of hard things if you put your mind to it. So they have a little athlete's foot. It may smell a little funky, but these feet have taken you to games and practices. They have carried me through tryouts, all the way through tournaments. They have helped me show up for my friends and work as part of a team. How about a pair of shoes as fun and happy as the moments of joy they have carried me through? Let's get you those shoes. Here at Bless Shoe Warehouse, we have a motto we live by. How beautiful are the feet of those who bring good news. And that leaves you. Are you ready for a new pair of shoes? I guess so. I just never really thought of feet as beautiful. What 
makes them beautiful isn't their appearance. Frankly, that's probably why we cover them with these sweet styles. What makes them beautiful is the places they take us. Because of the, those places is an opportunity to share good news, to make a difference. Aren't you forgetting something? Oh yeah. Our feet carry us into friendship where we are able to support and listen to one another. They take us to dates where we can pour our love into one another. They bring us to workplaces and children gatherings and service opportunities, music rehearsals, and debate clubs. They walk us next door to cheer in our neighbors. Isaiah 52. How beautiful upon the mountains are the feet of the messenger who announces peace, who brings good news, who announces salvation. Sorry, sometimes I get carried away. Let me go get you those shoes. Do you mind? Oh yeah, sorry. That girl is really into shoes. She's mindful of all the places our feet take us. I appreciate the reminder. Sometimes I get so caught up in going, going, going that I forget the impact I can make on those around me in the moment. Agreed. Sometimes I get so caught up in kicking goals and the competition of it all, I can forget the importance of being a good teammate and a good sport and the difference that can make for others. When I leave here, my dad said that I have to swing by my grandma's to help her real quick. I wasn't really looking forward to it. But I'm starting to think the little journey out of the way might just be just what we both need. And all the places these feet take me, I'm going to be more intentional about sharing good news. Speaking of which, I'm going to get going. Us too. After all, at Bus Shoe Warehouse, there is a motto. How, How beautiful, beautiful are, are the feet, feet of, of those, those who bring, bring good news. news.
we really need your help with these whoa, whoa, whoa parts, okay? So you gotta sing it louder than you ordinarily would. It's Youth Sunday. A little bit louder now. A little louder now. Our gracious heavenly Hang Father. on there, Cody. Please be seated. Would the baptismal party please come forward? Because speaking of children of God, it's time for Wyatt, Elise, and Caleb to join us through the waters of baptism. Let's get our supplies. The baptism is on page 10 of the bulletin, if you would like to follow along. In baptism, our gracious Heavenly Father frees us from sin and death by joining us to the death and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ. We are born children of a fallen humanity. By water and the Holy Spirit, we are reborn children of God and made members of the church, the body of Christ. Living with Christ and in the communion of saints, we grow in faith, love, and obedience to the will of God. Godparents, you'll say we present. For bap- and then the names for baptism. Trust, called by the Holy Spirit, trusting in the grace and love of God, do you desire to have your children baptized into Christ? As you bring them to receive the gift, you're entrusted with responsibilities to live with them among God's faithful people, to bring them to the word of God and the Holy Supper, to teach them the Lord's Prayer, the Creed, and the Ten Commandments, place in their hands the Holy Scriptures, and nurture them in faith and prayer, so that they may learn to trust God, proclaim Christ through word and deed, care for others in the world God made, and work for justice and peace. Do you promise to help them grow in the Christian faith and life? Godparents, do you promise to nurture Wyatt, Elise, and Caleb in the Christian faith as you're empowered by God's spirit and to help them live in the covenant of baptism and in communion with the church? And people of God, do you promise to support Wyatt, Elise, and Caleb and pray for them in their new life in Christ? Please stand as you're able. I ask you to profess your faith in Jesus Christ. Reject sin and confess the faith of the church. Do you renounce the devil and all the forces that defy God? I renounce the devil. Do you renounce the powers of this world that rebel against God? I renounce them. Do you renounce the ways of sin that draw you from God? I renounce them. Do you believe in God the Father? I believe in God. 
Do you believe in Jesus Christ, the Son of God? Do you believe in God, the Holy Spirit? I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Um, and I, I know most of our kids are up front, but if there are anybody who, who would like a better view, any of our little friends, feel free to come on up. The Lord be with you. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. Ready? We give you thanks, O oh God, for in the beginning your spirit moved over the waters, and by your word you created the world, calling forth life in which you took delight. Through the waters of the flood, you delivered Noah and his family. Through the sea, you led your people Israel from slavery into freedom. At the river, your son was baptized by John and anointed with the Holy Spirit. By the baptism of Jesus' death and resurrection, you set us free from the power of sin and death, and you raise us up to live in you. Pour out your Holy Spirit, the power of your living word, that those who are washed in the waters of baptism may be given new life. To you be given honor and praise through Jesus Christ our Lord and the unity of the Holy Spirit, now and forever. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Wyatt. See you right here. Guess what? We're going to get a little wet. Are you ready? <laughs> just lean, lean over just a little bit, okay? Here we go. Wyatt. I baptize you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, and all God's people say, Amen. Amen. Good job here. Good job. Here you go. You can hold on to that. Let's get your sister in here. <laughs> Elise. baptize you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. And all God's people said, Amen. Good job. You did it. Okay, he's sleeping. Perfect. <laughs> That's okay, Caleb. We'll, we'll just kind of tilt him backwards. Relatively peaceful here. Caleb. Thomas, I baptize you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, and all God's people said, Amen. Good job. Let us pray. We give you thanks, O God, that through water and the Holy Spirit you give your daughters and sons new birth. Cleanse them from sin and raise them to eternal life. Sustain Wyatt. Sustain Elise. Sustain Caleb with the gift of your Holy Spirit, the spirit of wisdom and understanding, the spirit of counsel and might, the spirit of knowledge and the fear of the Lord, the spirit of joy in your presence, now and forever. Amen. Wyatt Christopher, child of God, you have been sealed by the Holy Spirit and marked with the cross of Christ forever. Elise Savannah, child of God, you have been sealed by the Holy Spirit and marked with the cross of Christ forever. Caleb Thomas, child of God, you have been sealed by the Holy Spirit and marked with the cross of Christ forever. Let your light so shine before others that they may see your good works and glorify your Father in heaven. Let us welcome...
Let your light so shine before others that they may see your good works and glorify your Father in heaven. Let us welcome the newly baptized. We welcome you into the body of Christ and into the mission we share. Join us in giving thanks and praise to God and bearing God's creative and redeeming word to all the world. How about a round of applause? be with you always. And also with you. Let's take a moment to share a sign of Christ's peace. Our prayers are responsive. Our prayer leaders will say, God, in your mercy, and we will each respond together. Hear our prayer. Holy God, you call the church to make dispels of your nations. Strengthen all who share the good news to encourage us. Continue sharing the good news in all we do and all the places we go. God, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Creating God, you spoke creation into being and called it good. Protect lands and waters and sustain living creatures of every kind, wild animals, birds, fish, and every creeping thing. God, in your mercy. Our Father, you are not the only spoken creation into begin. You created us in, uh, in your imagination. Remind us that we are beautiful and wonderful made is that every person, we thank you for the di diversity of conservation. Pray you will help us continue to celebrate the unique and wonderful p ways every person is made. God, in your mercy. God, we pray for all who lead, raise, right, Raise up leaders who listen earnestly, speak honestly, and govern thoughtfully. Heal divisions between nations that we might agree with one another and live in peace. God, in your mercy. God with us, you promise to be with us always to the end of the age. 
Surround those most in need of your healing presence, any who are lonely, all who are grieving, grieving, and those who are sick, especially those we name before you in the silence of our hearts now. God, in your mercy. God of joy, you set the earth on its axis and we experience the seasons. We give you thanks as we enter into summer and at and we ask you to bless the summer. We pray for all the re recreation we will have. We we will have, and for weather that sustains the land and makes things grow. We overwhelm the childcare responsibilities and children experiencing food insecurities outside of school. God, in your mercy. Holy three, holy one, you give rest when our work is done. We give thanks for all the saints who now rest in you, confident in the promise of resurrection, life in the age to come. God, in your mercy. Receive our prayers and answer us, O oh God, in the name of Jesus Christ. Please stand as you're able. God of field and forest, sea and sky, you are the giver of all good things. Sustain us with these gifts of your creation and multiply your graciousness in us that the world may be fed with your love through Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord, our God. Let us pray. O God, most mighty, O God, most merciful, O God, our rock and our salvation, hear us as we praise, call us to your table, grant us your life. In the night in which he was betrayed, our Lord Jesus took bread, gave thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take and eat. This is my body given for you. Do this for the remembrance of me. Again, after supper, he took the cup, gave thanks, and gave it for all to drink, saying, This cup is the new covenant in my blood. It is shed for you and for all people for the forgiveness of sin. Do this for the remembrance of me. Remembering his death, we cry out, Amen. amen. Celebrating his resurrection, we shout, amen. amen. Trusting his presence in every time and place, we plead, Amen. O God, most majestic, O God, our strength and our song. You show us a vision of a tree of life with fruit for all and leaves that heal. Grant us such life, the life of the Father to the Son, the life of the Spirit of our risen Savior, life in you now and forever. Lord, remember us in your kingdom and teach us to pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sin as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial. Deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Please be seated. We will commune this morning at the head of the center aisle. We'll start at the front and we'll work our way toward the back. As you come forward, you will receive a piece of bread that you may eat immediately. And as you make your way across the front of the sanctuary, you'll encounter a tray with uh, purple juice and blush wine. There's tiny baskets on either side of the sanctuary for the disposal of cups, and we'll make our way back to our seats down the outside aisle for prayer. This is Jesus' table. All is ready. 
All are welcome.
body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ strengthen us and keep us in his grace. We thank you, generous God, for the refreshment we have received at your banquet table. Send us now to spread your generosity into all the world through the one who is our dearest treasure, Jesus Christ, our Savior, Savior and Lord. The God who calls across the universe and speaks in the smallest seed, bless, keep, and sustain you now and to the end of the age. A quick question. Uh, guys, what are feet really good for? Oh, running? Oh, let's get to it. Please stand. Let's sing. If you want to join in running, you're allowed. Share the good news.